Mel was always extremely cagey about the specific whereabouts of his hole, which made this a pretty difficult case to investigate. But thankfully, a medicine man by the name of Red Elk went to the press in the early 2000s, claiming that he had visited the hole many times, as a young boy and as an adult in later years. He claimed that everything and more is true. So after Red Elk talking a big game both in the press and online about this hole, he finally agreed to take people to the hole. He organized a group of 30 people to join him outside Ellensburg to walk to the hole. This group consisted of scientists, geologists, paranormal researchers, mystics, and others. Believers and skeptics walked side by side, trying to see the truth of this once and for all. This is the most hilarious group that have ever taken <laughs> an expedition together. Scientists and wizards, <laughs> all hand in hand on a journey to find a really deep hole. <laughs> I love this. You got to really deliver at the end of that. If yeah. you've you've got you've flown all these people out, only thirty people. It's like freaking Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Oh, they yeah. had to get a, a, a I don't know a golden ticket in their cereal to you've, get a chance. You've basically promised to rewrite the history and science books forever. Yeah, on this one hike. I can bring animals back to life by yeah. throwing them into a pit. Who wants to come check it out? Surprisingly, a lot of people. Now, unfortunately. Red Elk basically took them on a massive hike, then seemed to get lost, clearly didn't know where he was going, then gave up and apparently started lecturing the group about a place called the Inner Earth, okay. where giant lizards turn humans into sex slaves. <laughs> this is great. At which point the group apparently just decided to have like a fun day out. It went south so fast. Yeah. I like to think that within 30 minutes, he was already kind of trying to change the subject away from the <laughs> hole. 40 minutes in, he's actually saying that, that that people should be pretty grateful that they're even here. 10 minutes into the hike, no one talking just goes, you know, it's not really that deep though. <laughs> what? I just don't want you guys to get your hopes up. You said it was 25 miles deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it might be kilometers, might be meters actually. The expedition ended with them in the wilderness, basically being mugged by him. <laughs> he tried to mug everyone with a pointy stick. <laughs> they beat him up, threw him in the hole, and he came back. <laughs> Twice as strong. I should point out that Red Elk apparently uh, famously wears a pendant around his neck uh, with a, a piece on the end of it that he claims is from a UFO, uh, which he also claims he found in the middle of a road. So that sounds pretty. It's, yeah, I don't want you don't want space technology on your around your neck. Yeah, that seems like the days of lead makeup. Like, yeah, you're not going to live a long time. The amount of people who just saw a UFO and got like radioactive poisoning, <laughs> you don't want it around your neck. Yeah, it's so true. I didn't even think about that. Well, he still has the energy to scam people, so he can't be doing too bad. Doing pretty good. Yeah. 